Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We're live at PlayStation Experience in Anaheim, California. Got a big show for you today. And we're going to take a closer look, actually, at a game that I'm personally super excited for coming to PlayStation VR. This one's from London Studio. Folks, welcome. Uh, very excited about this one. It's called Blood and Truth. And this is, uh, this is a special time because we're actually going to get a look at the game in action, and we're going to check that out. So uh, why don't you go ahead and throw that uh, VR headset on. Now, this is a game from London Studio. These folk, you folks are uh, actually behind uh, the London Heist. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, we, took, uh, we kind of took a lot of inspiration from the London Heist, although a lot of the things we learned from that, and now we've just taken those learnings and just applied them to Blood and Truth and, and really just trying to plus everything and take it to the next level. I definitely um, like it. Yeah. This time, it, you know, it's a full game. It's not a demo. It's not a short little mm -hmm. experience. It's a full AAA VR title, and, you know, we can't be more excited to show it to people. Uh, at, uh, at PSX. That's right. So it's actually playable here at PlayStation Experience. If you are in town or at the show, you can actually get your hands on with it. And uh, it's looking really, really good here. I think it's uh, an awesome game. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of uh, good shooting mechanics in it. It's got uh, some really in-depth uh, mechanics, a lot of the things that we saw uh, sort of experimented with in the London heist. Uh, you know, we saw uh, you, know, you can place a clip into the gun. Yep. Um, so that sort of physicality, I think, that's uh, really important uh, for, for virtual reality. What do you think? Oh, man, that is totally one of our core design principles. Yeah. It's like in every other game that, uh, you know, is kind of like an action-adventure game, you get to play the action hero. In Blood and Truth, you actually get to be the action hero. So, you know, everything you're doing with your hands, from loading clips to, um, to climbing a ladder to crawling through a vent, you're doing it all with your hands, using that one-to-one -one object interaction, and, you know, leveraging the power of VR, you know? Like, that's, that's what we wanted to do, is just make you feel like you're really there and really doing it. Got them all. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is cool here. What, uh, what, are we, what are we seeing here in this demo? Yeah, so just to intro this a little bit. So uh, in Blood and Truth, you play the role of Ryan Marks. You're like an ex-SAS soldier. And, sure. you know, you've kind of uh, been away uh, doing your, your soldierly duties. And, you know, it's like that classic line from the movies, you know, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> and you're, you know, so you're basically, uh, you know, been pulled back into your family's son of gangland struggle and you know you're going to take the training and all the tools you learned from the SAS and now apply them to that uh, that gangland struggle to really save your family from uh, from the enemy so what exactly makes blood and truth here uh, which we actually announced back at Paris Games Week about a month month and a half ago what makes this sort of bigger and better than the London heist well uh, we could see a lot of it on display here so we got a lot of the things uh, from the London Heist, like the object interaction, that one-to-one -one motion, you know, like, uh, you know, James is going to pick the lock here. You can actually see him moving the move controllers in order to uh, move the character's hands and, and pick the lock with his physicality. So we've got a lot of that. We're doing all kinds of that. We're also doing a lot of movement. You know, a lot of VR games now are doing a lot of teleportation and stuff, and we just thought that is not right for us. You know, we want to have a grounded, mm -hmm. real experience where you feel like you're in the experience for real. And so we have this movement system where you get you you kind of move like a soldier tactically from point to point. You can do the classic sort of action hero thing where you're on either side of a doorway, kind of doing the the gun lean left. Yeah, and right, yeah. Kind of strafing. Gotta have a gun lean. That's it, man. Yeah. Gun lean's important. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things I think about virtual reality uh, and the action genre specifically. Uh, that's so interesting. And and uh, not to talk about another game, but we saw a little bit uh, a little bit of this from Firewall, which was actually announced at Paris the other night. I mean, this is a, and we're seeing it here. This ability to peek around corners. This ability to uh, you know sort of peer over obstacles. Things that are almost impossible to do, or certainly not a, a little bit cumbersome to do on a traditional yeah. flat game, as they say, yeah. uh, played on your TV. I mean, uh, we've seen some developers uh, over the years experiment with leaning and things like that, but it's just so much more intuitive in virtual reality. It becomes a core part of the experience. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we see people uh, ducking and leaning yeah. by I instinctually, not even necessarily trying to go, oh, uh, the bullets are coming in, I need to lean. It's like, oh, well, watch out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's just something that you know. I know there's a ton of people out there who have still not you know tried out VR. It's a it's a new exciting technology. But I mean, games like this, especially with this high production value and uh, you know just being able to really it's it's a great 
test case for what I think is possible here in this this virtual reality future. And it looks fan. Yeah, Fantastic. graphics are really this is nice. One of the best looking VR games I've seen. So tell us a little bit about this uh, interface we're seeing right now. Like it looks like security camera. Yeah, so we're kind of showing our object interaction off a little bit in this uh, part of the demo. So we uh, we're trying to track this character Keech and figure out where he's going to be at in this uh, casino. So we're using the security feeds to just sort of track him, and then we're going to obviously we might just go after him. Actually, mm, because, interesting. Uh, you know, sure you're out he's just not the nicest person. Oh, well, okay. don't shoot some people in a casino, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah. So there's uh, we're setting a casino here, and we're sort of tracking this character. Now, one of the things I think is interesting about this game as well is, and it's a very sort of authentically London game. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like on one hand, kind of the grit and grime of London, but on the other hand, some of the glamour sure. as well. And it's kind of the juxtaposition between those two. So tell me a little bit about that from a design perspective. Well, I mean, we you know we live in London. We work in London. Uh, we live and breathe it every day, and so we see all that stuff uh, every day, and and that's where we get a lot of our inspiration. You know, like there's a tremendous amount of inspiration Fuck. you know that we took from gotcha. a lot of those cat Cockney gangster movies and stuff yep. for the London heist. And this is now yeah exploring a little bit more of the glamorous side and the grit side of yep. London. So you know exploring more of the angles and and how this great city kind of mixes both of those things. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, it, the city's practically a character unto itself in a game like this. And, uh, you know, I think uh, it's just it's so cool to be able to explore something like that in VR. Um, and I love that it's not, you know, just sort of a shooter. I mean, I love shooters to death. I play them all the time. But I like that they kind of hear and actually we're going to see a little right? Oh, oh, yep. that's cool. Yeah, using the PlayStation Move there, getting that, that precision uh, shot in. It's very lean. atmospheric here, very tense. So this is uh, actually first gameplay, uh, first yes. live gameplay yeah, that we're, we're seeing out of this. Um, and so this is uh, Blood and Truth. Now, I don't think a release date has been discussed on this one yet. It's just yep. well underway. Yes, you guys are uh, hard at work. We are very hard at work. Uh, we, we managed to sneak away for a couple of days from PSX, <laughs> but Great. yeah, as soon as we uh, we get done here, we'll be back on the plane and back to work. On, I mean, uh, this is looking pretty good. I think yeah, you guys are almost really done based on what I'm seeing here. You know? <laughs> you just release it. Let's just put it out. You know, yeah. enough already. Now, this looks great. I mean, uh, you know, and, and I know development, especially on VR, is, is is tricky because there's just so many moving parts, there's so many moving pieces, and there's so many things you have to factor in during the development process. So uh, I'll be honest with you, I've been doing this for a long time. It's not often that I see uh, a title, you know, so early in development that looks this polished. Oh, well, uh, thank you, first of all. Uh, you know, we, we have a really great team uh, at London Studio, uh, you know, the team behind the London Heist, behind VR Worlds, and, you know, the, the studio actually has a pretty rich history. Yeah, it does. Stuff. We did, um, you know, the getaway Absolutely. back in the day, and, you know, we have some people on the team that actually still are in the studio from that title. So we learned a lot over the years, and, uh, you know, we're just applying it with blood All and coming together. Yeah. I, you know, I feel, I feel like it is. Uh, and being able to actually go to a show like this and show it to people and seeing the smiles on people's faces after they play it is just awesome. This is cool here. So was, that a, was that a charge I saw, an explosive charge? Was yeah, so there? You're, you're basically trying to take out Tony's casino here and, and basically kill one of his major revenue, schemes, revenue streams. Uh, and so you're planting some C4, uh, moving through the casino. We can see our movement system at work here. James is kind of scraping around yeah. between the uh, movement points and shooting at the enemies. Uh, so really, it just gives you a lot of control and a lot of um, you know agency. When you're uh, when you're playing Blood and Truth, and this idea of like manually slapping in that clip is just really exciting. I mean, that's just such a this, I, this is kind of what I think a lot of people sort of dreamed of when they were thinking about VR and and what was possible with VR is you know look DualShock 4, greatest game controller ever made in my book, but there is you know it, it is still sort of a layer of abstraction uh, from the player at, uh, to the interaction in the game. So being able to really you know, use your full body, use your head, use your arms with the PlayStation moves. Uh, and actually, we have uh, two PlayStation moves, one for each hand on this title. Yep. Uh, is that the primary control scheme? or? Uh, I think that's what we're leading with yeah. uh, at this point, definitely. Um, and it just gives you that control, like as you're saying. And it, it, there's a lot of things that I think that people probably haven't seen with this title. Like, nice. James just managed to grab the <laughs> nice. uh, grab the uh, grenade yeah. and throw it back. Awesome. Like in most games, your only option is to run away from the yeah. grenade. Yeah. There, you can catch it, throw it right back. Or maybe you sort of fumble to like hold a button down and yeah. throw it back or something. So I mean, yeah, it's just it, it's a good example, I think, of uh, what's possible. This is a very new medium. Mm -hmm. We're all figuring this out. We're all in it together here. Uh, every developer is working in the VR medium, trying to you know just really 
innovate, you know, and, and, and develop a new, you know, vocabulary for gaming. And, and that's, I think, uh, what's exciting to me to see games like this. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's a heck of a challenge, I won't yeah. lie. But, uh, you know, that's why we get into this, because it is so exciting. It's and bleeding edge, you know. I mean, this is, this is super, super cutting edge stuff. And uh, definitely not toys you get to play with any old day of the week. That's it. Uh, that's why it's exciting to see all this. So, looking great. Yeah, um, James. Oh, see, oh awesome okay, all right. Stuff you can <laughs> That's perfect. And I actually, I, I got a chance to talk with a couple of the, the leads on the, the title uh, back at Paris Games Week, and they were telling me there's a lot of tricks you can do. Yeah. Absolutely. They were saying even things like if you get really good, you can throw a clip of ammo up in the air and slap your gun across it to reload in midair. Yeah, I mean, you could do that with two guns as well. You throw two cups of clips in the air, turn your guns upside down, catch the clips, and uh, that's take ridiculous. guys out. So, okay, we need you to know, the playfulness is, uh, is a huge part of our that's title. Awesome. James is going to... Ah, there's Whoa. a nice, nice okay, little trick there, right. a little... Uh, Look at that. Hey. Oh, <laughs> shot in the face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time and place for that. <laughs> I mean, that is super cool. And I am sure that you can dual wield if you want. Yeah, absolutely. We got a uh, bunch of different weapons. Uh, if you see the trailer, we've got SMGs and assault rifles, and we saw some yeah, grenades earlier. Yeah, so. SMGs, give me those. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. This is kind of what... Um, you know, I mean, like many people, the London heist is, is was one of the most uh, impressive experiences, especially early on during PlayStation VR. I mean, it looked incredible. Uh, it played great. It was exciting. It was immersive. I mean, everything from lighting a cigar yeah. to, you know, spraying, uh, you know, an SMG out a window in a moving truck. I mean, it was, I, I love that truck sequence, like opening up the, you know, the glove box and, and messing with the guys like soda and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I yeah. love doing stuff like that. In VR, it's it's a huge part of the appeal to me, uh, and of course, you know, being able to peek around corners and, and cap fools here, like we're seeing, is uh, also very very gratifying. Yeah, this is like London Heist on a serious, like on steroids. mega steroids, mega, yeah. mega steroids. Well, that's that's you know absolutely what we tried to do is take the best bits of London Heist and and then really just take a lot of inspiration from these action movies that we love, you know, movies like John Wick, John, right? Yeah, John, uh, Atomic Blonde, John Woo, yeah, that's a great inspiration as well. And, John McClane, Die Hard. So yeah. it's being the action hero and doing all those really cool things that you've always wanted to be able to do in a game. And, well, now you can. So tell us a little bit about the locomotion uh, system here. Is that holding the move button to move forward, or how does that all uh, work right now in so development? Yeah, you can basically just look at the point you want to move to, oh, okay. press the move point and move button, and then you move there. I see, uh, I see. That's a good way to do it. Almost yeah. like a, like you assign a point, and then you kind of go to it, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And the other cool thing is you can actually strafe between points as well. Uh -huh. so you, can, uh, you know, it gives you a lot of control. That's really cool. Like, uh, yeah, it's interesting to see you know different developers experiment with this. You mentioned teleporting earlier. It's certainly uh, from a comfort level, like it can be a good fit for for certain titles. And then there's other titles that give you uh, full control, direct control using DualShock or or even PlayStation Move in some cases. But uh, I mean, I think this is what I mean is there's still just a lot of experimentation going on. This is crazy. Yeah, this is uh, you know one of our sort of. Uh, Mechanics is just a slow mo idea. Yeah. Oh, holy <laughs> shot, Marvin, in the face. <laughs> wow. So you could basically, uh, you know, move faster than the enemies because of your training. And so, uh, yeah, you see James uh, showing that off there. That's, it feels awesome. So how often do you use that mechanic? Well, uh, how much are we going to talk about at the show? But let's say that, you know, you'll be using it quite a bit. Okay. You know, there's, there's That's good enough for me. That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> lots of. Uh, Lots of opportunity to experiment and play with that and, and you know, feel those cool things. And then doing reloads in slow-mo, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can reload. You can do all those gun tricks in slow-mo as well. So uh, you know, a lot of really, really cool things. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, he's, uh, our demo here is managing wow. this awfully well. Uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's a scary guy with a gun. I, yeah. You know, he's a producer, and I, uh, <laughs> when he tells me the schedule is, is the schedule, I, I can't yeah. it. You know? Yeah, I better listen to him. That's it. That's cool. Yeah, it actually really works too. Like, it doesn't feel clumsy or, you know, I mean, it. <laughs> I mean, this is like very smooth. Oh uh -oh, my. Here we go. So, yeah, I know oh, there's some works. decisions you can make in this game too. Yeah. Tell yep. us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it. In, in the in the game, we want you to be the kind of action hero that you want to be. So do you want to be the guy who's trying to kind of convince this character to give the information, and be the good cop, or are you going to be the bad cop? Mm -hmm. um, in this sequence, you know, you can you can make a choice uh, uh, about what to say. You can also make a choice of what to do. He, there's nothing stopping him from shooting that guy in the face right now and just going, uh, look, uh, you know, give me the information. So he's just firing a warning shot there. That's another way to get the information you need. Well, what's he going to do? That's it. 
I swear. Oh, shot oh. him in the kneecap. <laughs> Shit, you fucking I think James is in a bad mood today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting Gave to see. Him. Oh, you yeah, finished yeah. <laughs> Bam! Well, no choice. Find an a interesting escape route. Nothing wrong with that, all right. Blood and Truth. Got some first gameplay there. Got to get a little bit more in depth than uh, what we saw coming out of Paris Games Week, so I appreciate that. Uh, looking really polished. Uh, really excited about this one. No target release date yet, uh, but very promising game. I think uh, I think that's going to be our look at Blood and Truth. So thank you so much, gentlemen, for yeah, dropping thank in. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and we've got a lot of great stuff coming up next. So stay with us. PlayStation.